Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can use Ghost without uh, synergy. So I'm flat out taking just Ghost and Ghost by herself without any synergy active here. She's the only person on my team and this is going to be kind of like a showcase of how I typically run Ghost and actually to be completely honest, most of the time when I play Ghost, I play her without the synergies. And uh, yes, it is riskier. Obviously, there's still a margin of error involved and uh, mistakes can happen. It is always safer to use Ghost with synergies, but you can get fairly reliable results here. Uh, so throughout this entire fight, we will not uh, miss a single special attack. And uh, that is kind of like a decent enough indicator that uh, with some practice you can get uh, reliable results uh, one quick key thing to note definitely is the fact that uh, the fact that uh, high aggression ai is kind of like preferred it's not going to work as well in like lower quests or perhaps lower alliance maps so on and so forth because uh typically for the harder end game content you have more aggressive ais and this method works uh, the best there so here we are about to drop another level two on the star lord and then i'm going to repeat it a couple of times and i'm also going to slow it down to kind of help explain it a bit better and then we're going to carry on with the rest of the fight till i drop another level one so here's the whole point and the whole key of dropping your specials uh, relatively reliably with ghost even without wasp synergy and still landing them all being criticals is that slight pause you take after a uh, the last hit of whatever combo you have decided to do so the key there is a uh, hit opponent two three four times however many you want and as soon as you have finished uh, striking your opponent before you dash back before you go into phase you must have a slight delay right here we can see you saw me stand still for a moment and i let star lord do the first action and if you are leaving yourself open they will pretty much always choose to strike you or dash in at you depending on the distance and that makes them uh, susceptible to a special attack so that is where the ai comes in play where it is important to be facing off against aggressive kind of like end game ais because uh in like lower aq maps and stuff like that these opponents often choose to block or dash back and when you have more aggressive ai it's going to always be trying to get you and uh, it's always also safer to do this when opponents are back up against the wall because they don't have anywhere where to run away from you but you can do this mid map as well pretty easily as i'm going to demonstrate at some point somewhere in the video i'm sure uh, but all in all it's a fairly simple idea so hit opponent either one two three or four times and then just basically let your hands off the screen for a moment and then you dash back as soon as Tyler makes a move and then you drop your special uh, button immediately you get all three crits from your special attack as if you pretty much were using the wasp synergy so it does take a bit of getting used to it does take a bit of practice but it does also enable you to free up uh, more space in your questing teams and then you can run ghost as one of the options for many of the fights but you don't have to completely rely on her and you can bring in other champions and uh, i'll be honest for most part that is how i play ghost unless ghost is like the perfect answer for a fight or the lane in the quest and the boss i always try to run ghost without her synergies and at that point when you do learn how to play ghost without wasp then pretty much hood becomes the most important synergy in order to face that recall in order to face those level threes so on and so forth but uh wasp synergy in itself can be made relatively unnecessary if you are confident in your abilities obviously it doesn't hurt obviously it can save you whenever you make mistakes or whenever ai behaves uh irregularly however as we can see here we're dropping special attack after special attack and we're doing that just fine uh, we can do that with level twos and now we have some level ones here on repeat as well uh, and the same idea here applies you just dash back you wait a split second for star lord to make his next action then you dash back uh 
into your face, drop special attack button immediately, and you connect. So it's a relatively simple concept. And with practice, it is safe enough for you to be kind of running Ghost uh, that way in your quests. I have played uh, Ghost in Alliance War, Alliance quest like that a lot, especially in Alliance quest where I want to bring in diverse answers for multiple threats. Uh, definitely, this is the main way I play Ghost in Act 6, most of it uh, anyways. And it just lets you be more versatile with your team selection. So again, here you can see just that small delay and the reason for the delay is actually quite simple because if you do drop your special attack immediately as you normally would with wasp synergy then opponents manage to put their block up by the time your first hit would connect but in this case when they are stuck in a movement basically the animation has to carry through and they cannot uh, block mid punching you because you're phasing the punch obviously goes uh, through uh, it doesn't connect and uh, you are able to connect your special attack uh, right as the punch kind of would have landed in your face but obviously yeah your ghost you're facing so you're safe and uh, yeah that is a fairly simple kind of like idea there just that small delay uh, make sure opponent does make like a movement does make an action and uh, dashes in at you or tries to throw a punch or does something and uh, then you're safe uh, obviously there are other alternatives you can block bait heavy attacks you can also uh, try and intercept them with your special attack and so on and so forth all of those are viable options but this is uh, how i personally play ghost how i found it to be kind of like most consistent and easy for me obviously i'm human i do make mistakes i uh, inevitably eventually end up dropping a special attack in opponent's block occasionally i do get punished for it occasionally i do not now here was a small mistake i pushed my power a bit too high so we have to sit through a level three animation uh, but all of that being said uh, yeah it's a relatively simple thing to do now this fight is also not showcase of how to best play ghost because obviously you can weave in spamming your heavy attacks there is also i think pandem and pete had a great video where you can start to go into your heavy attacks after star Lord's level one i'm I think I'm gonna do it once here but I'm not like really the best at it I haven't practiced that too much yet it's probably something I should get into practicing but all in all all of my special attacks throughout this fight will land none of them are unblockable all of them will be critical and uh, yeah it is a quite simple thing to do uh, once you uh, put in a bit of time and effort practicing it only time i will get caught in this fight is going to be when i forget that i cannot phase after ghost level one which is if you ask me it's a really kind of common problem i uh, have gotten punished after my level ones much more often than i'd like to admit because I forget that uh, I'm not phasing and obviously as most of us are uh, quite often after playing ghost prolonged periods of time <laughs> I get smacked in the face <laughs> with many opponents at the beginning of the fight wondering why did they hit me like because you know you're supposed to start the fight phasing uh, so it is kind of uh, one of those things that uh, if you kind of get carried away that you can easily forget but here we can see that uh, aside from that one mistake that i made <laughs> where i thought i'm phasing and i wasn't uh yeah the fight's going smooth all of our specials are landing don't have much to worry about obviously our health is going down because we are unable to phase recoil now here is the bit what I was talking about uh, about Pandem and Pete's kind of like technique where you dash in straight after the level one, go into heavy attack, and then you're able to pump up some decent amount of furies and do more damage. So that is another video that uh, potentially I could make uh, in future at some point, uh, but I need to practice that bit first because it's not the easiest thing to do to get the timing absolutely right. Uh, but either way, so yeah, that is pretty much the main point here for today's video is the special attacks without wasp synergy, without any synergy. And uh, we haven't uh, missed a single one, basically. 
And at this point, my health is already running low, uh, largely due to recall, obviously also because I did get smacked a bit. And that means that that will be pretty much it for today's video after two more special attacks here. But either way, I hope uh, you guys find it useful. I hope this potentially can help some of you. I also thought that this might be helpful if somebody wants to bring in Ghost, but they don't really have the space for the team synergy slots. Because uh, if you learn how to throw these special attacks, you can go in with Ghost and Hood, and you can kind of leave the Wasp synergy out of this. Uh, because then you still kind of can ignore recall, you can phase the level 3s, and you can probably do relatively well in your fights in Abyss of Legends as well without having a need for a full Trinity team. Plus, if you have a highly ranked Hood, then uh, he might be able to, able to help you out in a couple of fights by himself as well. But yeah, so that is it for uh, this video. Once again, I hope you guys find it helpful. If you did, definitely do share it with your friends, alliance mates, uh, whoever else might be interested. Hit that like button, hit that sub button if you haven't already, because uh, apparently 50% of people who watch my videos do not subscribe to me. That's a shame. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.